Hello mga anak shes! Welcome to Math TV PH. Ang channel na ito ay tungkol sa math tutorials, lectures, or discussions na Tagalog at Taglish na dedicated sa lahat ng mga estudyante. Kung interesado ka, please like, subscribe, at i-click mo na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may bago akong upload na video. Hello everyone! This is Teacher Jenjin T. Gandesa. Sa araw na ito ay tatalakayin natin ang arithmetic series. Ano nga ba ang arithmetic series? Arithmetic series is the sum of arithmetic sequence. Kung hindi nyo pa alam ang arithmetic sequence, i-click nyo lang dito sa taas para mapanood ninyo yung arithmetic sequence. May dalawang formulas na ginagamit sa arithmetic series. Ito ay yung S sub N is equal to N over 2 times A sub 1 plus A sub N. Or, pwede namang S sub N is equal to N over 2 times 2 times A sub 1 plus the quantity of N minus 1 times D. Kaya, dalawa yung formula niya dahil iba't iba yung mga examples or given. So, mamaya, tatalakayin ko kung paano gamitin yung mga formula na to at kung ano yung gagamitin na formula. So, ang A sub 1, it is the first term. Ang A sub N, it is the N term. Ang N is the number of terms and D is the common difference. Ang S sub N naman, it is the sum of arithmetic sequence. Ang unang example natin ay find the sum of the first 20 terms of the arithmetic series if A sub 1 is equal to 5 and A sub 20 is equal to 62. Sa example na to, meron tayong tatlong given. Yun yung 20 terms. Ang hinahanap ay yung first 20 terms. At yung dalawang given ay first term at yung 20th term. Since given na yung A sub 20 at first term, ang tamang formula na gagamitin natin ay yung S sub N is equal to N over 2 times A sub 1 plus A sub N. Dahil given na yung A sub N at yung first term. Ang hinahanap dito ay yung first 20 term. So, ang Number of terms natin ay 20. So, ang hinahanap dito ay yung first 20 terms, kaya S sub 20 is equal to yung N natin ay 20. So, 20 over 2 times ang first term natin ay yung 5. 5 plus ang A sub N natin ay 62. Next, S sub 20 is equal to 20 divided by 2 is equal to 10 times 5 plus 62 is equal to 67. Then, the final answer is S sub 20 is equal to 10 times 67 is equal to 670. So, ito na yung sum of the first 20 terms. Another example natin ay A sub 1 is equal to 5 and A sub N is equal to 68. Find S sub 10. So, dito, dalawa din yung given. Given na yung A sub 1 at given na yung A sub N. So, ang tamang formula na gagamitin natin dyan ay S sub N is equal to N over 2 times A sub 1 plus A sub N. Since given na yung A sub 1 at yung A sub N. Next is, substitute natin yung mga given doon sa formula. So, ang hinahanap is S sub 10 is equal to ang n natin ay yung 10. So, 10 over 2 times a sub 1 is 5 plus a sub n is 68, 68. Okay, so simplify as sub 10 is equal to 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5 times 5 plus 68 is equal to 73 then 5 times 73 is equal to 365. So, the sum of the 10 terms is 365. Next example, find S sub 10 if A sub 1 is equal to 5 and D is equal to negative 7. Sa example na to, meron tayong dalawang given na A sub 1 at D. Kapag ganito yung mga cases, hindi given yung A sub N, ang gagamitin formula dyan ay yung S sub N is equal to n over 2 times 2 times a sub 1 
plus n minus 1 times d. Since hindi given ang a sub n, ito yung gagamitin nating formula. So, s sub 10 is equal to, ang n natin is 10, 10 over 2 times 2, first term is 5, plus n, 10 minus 1 times negative 7. Next is to simplify the formula. So, s sub 10 is equal to 10 divided by 2 is 5 times 2 times 5 is 10 plus 10 minus 1 is equal to 9 times negative 7. Next is s sub 10 is equal to 5 times 10 plus 9 times negative 7 is equal to negative 63. Then, s sub 10 is equal to 5 times 10 plus negative 63 is negative 53. Then, multiply 5 times negative 53 is equal to negative 265. So, the sum of the 10 terms is negative 265. Another example, number 4. First term is 12. The common difference is 10 and n is equal to 20. So, kapag ganyan yung given, gamitin ulit natin yung s sub n is equal to n over 2 times 2 times a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. So, substitute natin yung given sa formula. So, ang n natin is 20. So, s sub 20. Then, n is 20 over 2 times 2. Ang first term is 12 plus n is 20 minus 1 times d is 10. Then, simplify. s sub 20 is equal to 20 divided by 2, 10 times 2 times 12 is equal to 24 plus 20 minus 1 is equal to 19 times 10. Next, s sub 20 is equal to 10 times 24 plus 19 times 10 equals to 190. Then, simplify s sub 20 is equal to 10 times 24 plus 190 is equal to 214. Then, the final answer is 10 times 214 is equal to 2140. So, the sum of the 20 terms is equal to 2140. Number 5 example, S sub 14 is equal to 1050. First term is 10, N is 14. Find the 26th term. Sa mga ganitong cases, wala siyang common difference at ang hinahanap ay n term. Ang gagawin natin dyan ay to find the common difference. So, kailangan muna natin malaman yung common difference para makuha natin yung 26 term. Okay, so, S sub 14 is equal to 1050. Dito, given yung sum of the arithmetic sequence is equal to n is equal to 14 divided by 2 times 2 times a sub 1 is 10 plus n is 14 minus 1 times d. Next, simplify 1050 is equal to 14 divided by 2 is 7 times 2 times 10 is equal to 20 plus 14 minus 1 is 13 times d is equal to 13d. Next, simplify natin. So, meron tayong 1050 is equal to, i-distribute natin yung 7. 7 times 20 is equal to 140 plus 7 times 13d is equal to 91d. Next is, i-transpose natin yung 140 sa kabila, magiging negative 140. So, 1050 minus 140 is equal to 91d. And isimplify natin, 1050 minus 140 is equal to 910. 
is equal to 91D. Ngayon, para matira yung D, i-divide natin both sides ng 91 para ma-reduce. So, ito, ma-reduce siya. So, D is equal to 910 divided by 91 is equal to 10. So, ang common difference natin is 10. Ngayon, ang hinahanap is A sub 26. Balikan natin yung formula ng arithmetic sequence which is A sub n is equal to A sub 1 plus n minus 1 times D. Ngayon, ang A sub n natin is A sub 26 is equal to first term natin is 10 plus ang n naman natin dito ay yung 26, hindi na yung 14. Kasi iba na yung hinahanap dito. Minus 1 times D is 10. Yung D natin nakuha dito. Next, A sub 26 is equal to 10 plus 25 times 10. Next, simplify. A sub 26 is equal to 10 plus 25 times 10 is equal to 250. Next, the final answer is 10 plus 250 is equal to 260. lamang mga anak shis, maraming salamat sa inyong panonood Sana nakatulong itong video na to sa inyong mga modules or assignments. Thank you! Kung may mga katanungan kayo, just comment down below or kung may mga clarifications kayo about this video. Once again, stay safe, stay healthy at mag-aral lang mabuti. Kung nagustuhan ninyo ang video na to, please subscribe, like, and share. Goodbye mga anak shis!